everybody welcome back to my channel it's your girl Vanna Renee Graham I'm back with another video um, my uploading schedule is Monday Wednesday and Friday and every other Sunday so make sure you are staying tuned for those days that's where I drop makeup looks hair etc so today I came up with this really bomb summery look this blue and green look I mean this blue and yellow look that I'm really obsessed with so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and click that post notification bell so that you are notified every time I upload a new video and let's get into it okay so this is where we're starting I already have my brows on I'm gonna hurry up and try to film this video as possible as quick as possible yesterday um, oh I'm going in with a Becca primer um, yesterday for some reason I think a tree hit like a light bulb and our lights were out for like hours and now it's storming and I don't want that to happen again so I really love this primer. I've tried other primers, but they just don't seem to work for me. And for foundation, I'm using the Juvia's Place um, foundation in the shade Gabon. Just literally take a little bit of this. This stuff really a little bit goes a long way. And I also like to take um, a small brush since I did like uh, clean up around my brows. I like to take a small brush and go around my brows with the foundation only because sometimes if you use like a concealer, it may seem to be like a little light. It may... Um, leave like a white cast so now that we have our foundation on I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's Place concealer I only use this I think um twice but I think the first time I just put too much okay so now that I have my concealer on I'm going to let it sit for like two or three minutes and then I'm going to go in with a brush and a sponge to blend it out. Okay, so I'm taking this brush for our Real Techniques. I'm just kind of stamping this into the skin and blending it out. And remember, whenever you're blending out your concealer, whatever you do to one side of your face, you want to ensure that you are doing that to the other side of your face as well. And I kind of like using the brush and the sponge because I feel like when you use the sponge, it kind of picks up that excess product and it really makes it look like skin. Okay, so before I set that, I'm going to contour. I recently just picked up this Anastasia Beverly Hills Cool Earth Stick Foundation. Normally, I just use bronzer, but we're going to see with this cream. And then the brush I'm using to blend that out is this Real Techniques brush. It doesn't really have, the only number it has on it is the number four, but it came in like a little set, and I'm just gonna use that to blend this out. So up next, the next thing I like to do is set everything, and I am going to go in with the Sasha Buttercup, and the same sponge, but first I'm gonna go back over that concealer just to make sure there is no like creases or anything because once it's set 
it's set. Back into the product, dust off the excess product on my hand, and begin to push that into the skin. Okay, so for setting my contour, I want to use this matte one from Fenty. It's called it's, it's called Mocha Mommy. Okay, so I okay, so after I applied that bronzer, I think I still want to go in with my shimmery bronzer. I don't know, I just don't. It's okay, but. I still feel like um, I would prefer a little bit more shimmer. Um, I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl Queen Collection in the shade Ebony Bronze. Okay, so before we get into like highlighter and everything else, we're going to go straight to the eyes. But first, before I go into my eyes, I'm going to prime with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. And I'm gonna do one eye on camera and one eye off camera. And I'm just going to pretty much apply some powder underneath the eye I am starting with. For today's look, we're going to be diving into three palettes. The first palette we're gonna be diving in is the matte book by the crayon case and i am going to be going in with this um light blue shade as well as this yellow shade and i'm also going to be, use be using a yellow shade from another palette as well we're just going to be taking this light blue shade and we're going to be packing this shade into the crease And once I have that shade packed on, I'm going to go in back with that shade and back and forth in windshield wiper motions. I just really want that um that pigment to that pigment to come through. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a smaller detail brush and I'm gonna take that yellow shade and I'm gonna pack that on on top of the blue shade. Okay, so once I have that shade on there, now I'm going to blend out that harsh line. I'm just gonna keep, you know, doing circular motions. And so I don't see that harsh line there. To cut my crease, I'm just gonna kind of speed through this clip because I pretty much use the same product to cut my crease. Okay, so now that I'm done cutting my um my crease, we're gonna dive into this Natasha Denona palette and we're gonna use this yellow shade. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is go in with this, this lime green shade. Let's see how that looks. I don't like that shade. So I'm going to go on top of that shade with this blue shade. And then I'm gonna go back and forth between a yellow shade and that blue shade just to pretty much blend that in together. And then literally like I keep doing this until I don't see a harsh line because you don't want like a big mark, um, a big line of demarcation between one eyeshadow and the next. Okay, so I'm going to, before we finish up this eye, I'm just going to pop right over and I'll be right back. I'm going to do this eye. Okay, so this is where we're at. I'm done with my eyes. Um, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to go in with liner. So the liner that I'm going to go in is this 
aqua green color by NYX. Um, to me, it's really it's a really smooth, nice liner. And this is the shade, it's like a teal shade. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is go back in with that blue. Okay, so now I'm going to spray my face with the Morphe setting spray. Get rid of any powder that's on my face. And then for highlighter, I'm going to use... Two highlighters. So the first one I'm going to go in is the Maybelline uh, Master Chrome in Multi Gold. I'm going to get the rest of those. I love these highlighters. This is the first highlighter I have. Okay, so that's the first highlighter. And the second highlighter I'm going to go in with is going to be from this. Um, coffee and cocoa palette from beauty bakery um i don't want to hold it up i accidentally dropped it and i broke this is my favorite shade and i broke it so yeah i'm gonna use whatever's left and we're gonna go in with the shade underground okay so now what i'm gonna do is spray my face again and this is just going to help lock in everything. I'm just going to go with a nude lip. Um, first, I'm going to go in with this dark brown pencil from NYX. Okay, and then on top of that, I'm going to go in with this Kylie Gloss. And it is the Gloss Yes Girl. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. I really liked how this look turned out. It's so summery. It looks fun. I really love the eyes. I really love this um, this Kylie lip gloss. I'm obsessed with it. It has a little bit of shimmer, but it's so pretty. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. If you like what you saw, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And go check out my Instagram. Um, I'm almost at 700 on Instagram, which once I hit the 700 mark, I am going to be doing a giveaway. So make sure you head over for that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye.